There's growing and compelling evidence that fiberglass tanks are highly vulnerable to the effects of nearby lightning strikes. In North Dakota between 2014 and 2019, 23 lightning-related spills or fires were reported among fewer than 500 saltwater disposal sites. There are about the same number of schools in the state, but no reports of lightning incidents. Although they made up as little as 3% of oil and gas facilities, SWDs accounted for 42% of lightning-related fires. In just six years, 5% of saltwater disposal sites in North Dakota suffered lightning-related fires. And evidence of lightning protection measures were given by local media and county emergency managers. If similar data were available for states like Texas and New Mexico, where there's a lot more lightning, the numbers would be even more compelling. The principal effect of a nearby lightning strike is exposure to the intense electromagnetic, or EM, waves. If lightning should strike close enough, electromagnetic waves would induce sparking onto this flagpole. The fact that the flagpole is well grounded does not prevent sparking. If we placed the flagpole inside a metal enclosure of adequate construction, that would prevent sparking, because metals are effective electromagnetic shields. That's one reason why metals are used to house sensitive electronics. If we placed the flagpole inside a fiberglass enclosure of similar construction, it would not prevent sparking because fiberglass is easily penetrated by EM waves. That's why radomes on aircraft are often made from fiberglass. They protect the antenna from the elements while allowing EM signals to pass freely. So nearby lightning strikes can induce sparking on conducting components inside fiberglass tanks, like the edges of metal piping, level monitoring equipment, anti-static devices, or conductive deposits on the tank's interior wall. And placing lightning rods of any type on or near the tank is simply not relevant to the problem. Despite their typically small height and footprint, sites with fiberglass tanks are vulnerable to lightning strikes within about a half mile. Any lightning rod, mast, or catenary system would necessarily be a lot closer than that, so even if the system worked as intended and intercepts a strike, EM waves generated by the protection system itself would be a source of hazardous sparking. An effective way to protect a fiberglass tank is to give it means of electromagnetic shielding similar to a steel tank, like the EM Shield by Lightning Electrotechnologies. In service since 2014 with hundreds of installations in areas of intense lightning activity. Some in areas that have experienced about 20 times more lightning than the average in North Dakota and without incident. Local media reporting on a major lightning storm in New Mexico showed severe damage to sites protected with lightning rods, but also broadcast this image. Venting from a steel tank in flames while an adjacent fiberglass tank protected with an EM shield remained intact. The site sustained no damage, nor did any of the many sites in the area protected with EM shields. The EM Shield by Lightning Electrotechnologies, the only lightning protection system that actually addresses the problem. <laughs>